thank you thank you guys i i was not aware of this this is like very uh, uh, thanks to sal he created the story he is trying to connect the rest of the speakers and you going to see some amazing stuff what's your name That's me. come here <laughs> so why did you come here and lamp the lead the lamp you can <laughs> you, you can use that click it so i was not aware of it you called me so i just came along with you <laughs> <laughs> so this is our festival this is our family so the people who are those five girls from the community the community inaugurated this this our function right yeah, thank you thank you yeah first of all thank you so much for making it to this conference today you know the reason right why am i specifically saying about it because we are in a problem so yesterday night we had sent you guys an alternative solution that we can stream it i think maybe 10% of the people couldn't make it but rest of you could make it you are the true designers because you found the solution thanks a lot for being here okay so i know this is very boring i've been talking the same story for the 19 years so today is we are again 19th year again how to save take the same but a bit different game going to talk about it today let's see the first of all without our sponsors this is not it's not at all possible it's not only today from the beginning we always had this for example if you see some of those logos here right it's been repeated several years thank you so much for the trust on us and also not just only to make this conference successful they wanted to build a community without your help it's not possible at all so and i'm i'm sure you must have visited some of the booths here or here and also i thank academic partners and kind partners and thanks to our leadership team join us very jabin So the most popular name here, Jabin, all right? How many of you know her name, <laughs> Jabin? <See? laughs> yeah, she's a person. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for making this happen again. And the core team. Can you please, guys, come on to the stage? So many sleepless nights, and you guys know. Hey. <laughs> so my day usually starts at 5 o'clock to talk to these people so though i live in east coast so so many fights so many arguments finally we are able to make this and though still we are a still family you know that's a, that's the beauty of this i know that i'm making too many mistakes here and i see that some of the feedbacks keep coming i am very confident because you are my family right because i'm not an event manager i'm part of you i'm one among you so i think you all should appreciate the effort these guys are putting it together thank you yeah yes so you must have seen this yellow threads people have seen helping you guys these are the volunteers i'm not inviting them here because they are already helping people and we should thank them so much of energy so much of effort we had a process of selecting like we had around 250 volunteer entries we have selected 32 people out of them and they really contributed each and every one is really contributed this is again you know the team itself volunteer team for the last 19 years and also so the people over here they're all we're all volunteers i think all of you know right now and by now we're all we work you know for our food like 
you know, we, we were actually, this is not our full-time business. That's what I wanted to say. This is a basically to build a community. We come together and with the help of volunteers. And if you keep contributing and you become part of the core team. So it's always wel welcome. This platform is open for all of us. Yep. That's okay. This is a difficult part because I've been telling the same story again and again. <laughs> okay, see, so now, this has been 19th year. We started with a vision that we wanted to create when nobody was talking about UX design. That term, it was, I think, usability. I think some of you are already there. I see some of the familiar faces over here. We knew about a bit of usability, and now the term is called UX. So we started with a vision that awareness and educate and create impact. Right now, we are almost there at the stage of advocacy. I said almost there. There is one mile to go. And UX India as a platform, when we are moving, industry also moved along with us. We both together grown. Most importantly, you also grown with us. Because of you, the community, all of us grown. We are at a level where we can share our success. Maybe I want to keep it for next year. There is something which is we want people to talk about you, people to advocate you, people to advocate us. That part we still, we still have to achieve. Okay, tomorrow we can discuss that, that angle. How did we do this? with a robust framework. I would like to express, explain these things, these six frameworks is built on some principles like inclusivity, accessibility, sustainability. I would like to invite our team members to explain what we have done the last one year. In the areas of express and explore, you want to talk about it? Yeah, sure, yeah. Babu. So these are our six framework items which actually helps to do this. So one of the initiatives as part of Express is all about expression, right? So this year, we introduced a program called Design X Artificial Intelligence, DXAI. And this is a contest for designers to use AI technologies to express. There are two parts to it. First one, Design X graphics, which is like static images. And second one, the category is Design X social motion, which is nothing but use motion design and artificial intelligence to express your ideas. It was interesting to see 500, 500 entries all the designers have actually submitted for. It was very interesting entries different different key ideas and there were two categories each of these categories has three awards if you see that six awards for these two different categories which is graphics and second one is motion and there were three design awards popular jury and the most creative effort it was interesting and congratulate for all the six winners And let me share you some thoughts in terms of what we learned looking at these things from a community point of view. Number one, it's very, very interesting to see all the designers stepping up, trying out the technologies like DALI or Stable Vision or all kinds of AI tools and trying out things. One thing which we felt a little bit of uh, a gap in terms of, you know, so this is expression is all about telling the intent, expressing intent. Most of the times, designers are stuck with keywords. It's interesting to choose in terms of this what prompt engineering is all about, right? Express your intent and use the tool to render the things better with use of AI technology. This is one bubble. This was pretty good, interesting this time. And you want to tell me something interesting about social, DesignX social? All right. How many of you know DesignX social here? See? And let me tell you a little bit about this about Design X Social. Design X Social is a very interesting and the most, most, 
most participated, participated contest. Okay? Design Next is a social context. What we do is we take, take a most pressing social problem in the industry. Example, in the COVID time, we tried to work related to COVID in terms of how people can actually come about on this, right? So we pick any world problem. This is not just India, global problem. And we get around 1,500 plus participation all over the world, OK? And then basically, it's very interesting because it's a combination of mentors like you who actually help the designers. And this is not just open to designers. This is open to all the fields. Basically, like you know, we saw entries from some of the designers' parents or doctors or engineers and we request, uh, encourage you all to actually participate more and also encourage all your friends to participate on this. And that's very interesting. And this is not new. We are doing from almost 10 years. And this year, you might be thinking about, you know, what are we going to do this year? We're going to do it. Stay tuned. We're going to announce it soon. It's going to be interesting. And I expect all of you will be participating in this contest. Over to you, Babu. Thank you. Thank you. So we want to explain about other programs. I think if you understand it clearly, we try to bring in different areas, like expressing yourself, the thought processes. People who are interested in talk about new ideas. You want to add new programs. You want to lead. You are, it's an open platform. Even if you are starting a new conference, we are open. I see some of our friends who are already doing some new conferences. They're part of it. Because there is no nothing like, you know, Maybe this is from this different college, a different university, nothing like that. And there's no competition here. This is a family. We all should grow together. So these are the pillars. This is a foundation. Let's say Explore has been a very successful design contest. So many of you are mentors over here. You mentored, I think, I don't have to tell again, two weeks' time, you actually gave away to mentor a global teams. People joined from different countries and they explore a problem, identify it, and they come up with a solution, they pitch it. Similarly, we have other programs. I invite uh, Rohan to talk about it, expertise. Thank you, Babu. Am I audible? Hello. Yeah, thanks. So uh, UXIN, this is uh, one of uh, our uh, favorite sort of programs that uh, we've started uh, during COVID. Thank you. And uh, this is something uh, where the entire UMO community is completely involved. Uh, what I mean to say by is uh, we have some great talent in our community, and there are uh, so many companies that are willing to work with us to uh, tap into uh, the UMO design community's talent. So what UXIN primarily does is leverages our UMO design community to connect you uh, to uh, the companies that are willing and looking for great talent. That's what uh, UXIN is. And uh, where this is sort of getting interesting is uh, we have plenty of uh, UMO mentors who work on a day-to-day -day basis with many uh, interested uh, folks to, who are looking to get a job or who are looking for a change to train them, to give them uh, good advice on building their portfolio and whatnot. And Jabin is the person who leads this initiative. So a big round of applause for Jabin for leading this. And uh, this is a completely uh, women-led program. It is open for all, but it is women-driven. Uh, there's a UX install out there. So go, uh, please check it out and meet the team and interact with them. And uh, yeah, just uh, get to know more about what this uh, program is all about. Yeah. Uh, so this program. I think most of you are heard about Jabin. I think I, I was to keep talking about. She's been already working with around how many com uh, companies? Yes. Yeah, no, how many companies? Around 40 companies. She's already working with 40 companies. This initiative is a non-profit initiative. Okay, so this is mainly meant for women, women empowerment. We, as I said, we have a goal of one million women to be design educated. The funds we generate and that will go to this, for, you know, initiative. So these guys, with the help of our community, you know, curate, design talent, and provide to the companies. So this is the initiative, and uh, we're just helping them. I think 40 companies is a good number. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so uh, if you've heard whatever we've been speaking so far, 
Uh, women empowerment is one of the key uh, sort of challenges that we're willing to tackle here at UMO. And this is one such initiative that came out through the uh, UX India conference, I would say. So uh, Women W Summit was uh, conducted early this year where we invited uh, great women leaders, uh, great design uh, leaders to come and share their experiences, uh, provide a great deal of inspiration to uh, young girls and women out there to become designers, to get into the creative field, and basically uh, empower each other uh, through uh, the UMO platform. Uh, we had some uh, interesting, uh, we had some very interesting content that has been generated. It's available for everybody to watch, so do check it out. And W Summit will continue. Uh, we'll have another edition that will come out uh, in early next year. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Excel is another program. I think most of you know about it. This is an initiative. Uh, as I said, this is one million women is our biggest initiative. And also, we've been helping companies, helping uh, individuals to understand the real value of design and making sure that you know, the companies actually understand. You know, there is a discussion. I think you, most of you know about industry and academia gap. So we try to fill in that gap to see that how our community can be employable um, as many as possible. So this is, we already done uh, almost like 6,000 so far, 6,000 uh, women designers. Maybe I don't call them as graduated, but they are design literate so far. This year, I'm talking about this year. Okay, I'm gonna talk about the other program. This is the LEAD. This is very interesting. How many of you are here, the LEAD program guys who attended today, yesterday, this program? Some of you can see them. So this is a, a really interesting program. We're going to announce very soon about the results. So we identified so far uh, 25 design heads of the companies. And they came into a conference, come, come, come to the uh, conference today, and yesterday was there. We did a workshop with them. We identified pain points. I see that if you are handling the pain point individually, on your own, in your company, it takes a lot of time. Think about a collective power. We all come together. And I'm sure there's a pattern of problems when we also have a similarities, like, OK, employment is a similar problem. Like, uh, I think, Madhukar, you were talking about um, upskilling. That's a problem. And also, uh, you know, talent. Talent is a burning problem right now. So how about we collectively solve this? So right now, we came up with the four uh, different buckets, and we're going to work on that. Next year, we're going to share the stories of the impact. OK? I know that we've been talking the same, same thing for the last couple of years. So let's see, what is the theme? How does it resonate? The theme you're talking about, OK? You want to talk about uh, theme, Shyam? Sure, Babu. So uh, this is a confusion, right? What is this third kind, Shyam? Third kind is the kind that we are not sure about how it's going to make our lives better or worse, right? So uh, anyway, so to start with, we are all designers. And then I would like to ask ourselves, what has been the most difficult challenge uh, that we face in our day-to-day -day life as, as a designer? Is it creating wireframes? Is it doing research? Or is it identifying the problem and then defining requirements? Any? One, one is defining requirements. Two is designing itself. Three is doing research and then validating your designs. One, business. how many one? Convincing business. Convincing business. <laughs> convincing business is, I would like to put that in first, first bucket. Define requirements, convince business that you're there to invest in design, right? Anyone, one, how many hands? What is the most difficult thing? What is the most easiest thing? Doing the design? <laughs> anyway. So the theme of the conference is, falls into the same line, because at the end of it, the theme has to be defined in such a way that it, is, it resonates with us really well. It, it makes us believe that this is the right direction, because it's, uh, as we have been talking about, it's all about we, the community. So at the end of it, if, if you're not able to connect all of you with this theme, then we won't be able to successfully deliver the content, uh, its ingredients, and the conference itself. So over the years, our theme has been pretty closely evolving. 
with the, with the changes in time. So for instance, two years before, we spoke about big shift, wherein we were all uh, in the midst of pandemic and so all the challenges that we have faced, and then we, we were not very sure what's there on the other side. Last year, we spoke about every time we have emerged strongly uh, from a, a, a big, uh, big challenge, let's say, uh, some, some sort of uh, a renaissance has happened. So last year, we named our theme as Design Renaissance. So now it's all about interactions of the third kind because, click, because to, to put things into perspective, right? So it's a, we are talking about what has changed from what we have been doing all these years, click. We have been working with connected devices, connected experiences, creating all, all the great user experiences for what the technology had to offer and then how we have leveraged it to enhance our lives. As compared to the very first one, which is all about basic computing and, and trying to deal with how we can s solve the problems that we are facing then, right? So if you look at it, the, the biggest difference here is with AI and design, the, the only difference is everything is additive, by the way, right? So we started with interactions, which have been effective and efficient. Then we have moved on to experiences. And the th third phase, third leg, is where we are dealing with something that is quite in intriguing in, in the sense, and then we are just starting on this journey. We, we, we don't know how it's going to evolve. So, so hence, there is this angle of mystery to it as well, right? So uh, in essence, the biggest difference is now we, as designers, we are thinking about how do we build these relationships. We are going to move beyond interactions and experiences. It's, it's all about if we have seen so many examples on stage today, right? So it's, it's all about as someone who is using this technology, uh, be it assistive technology, co-pilots, whatever it is. It's all about how can we as designers think of building these relationships uh, in between users and, and the tech, right? So hence the theme. And we wanted to keep that theme uh, slight, uh, uh, abstract enough so that we all can relate to it and come with content from our own, own points of view because at the end of it, this, this platform is all, ab all about we coming in and mm -hmm. sharing our experiences and then mm -hmm. evolving all of us at the same time. So as we embark on this new journey, we have lots of questions, concerns, and also opportunities. Here are some quotes that we got from our audience. I'm just going to leave this for all of you to just read, but um, ho hopefully as a part of this conference, we are going to find answers to all of these things, and then collectively we will forge ahead, right? Thank you. Ranjit, you want to talk about? All right, Papu. Like, you know, <laughs> see, always many of you uh, always curious in terms of, you know, so you have met a lot of the community people, lot of, you made a lot of friends and stuff. Who are the people and how many people, a lot of you all interested about the stats? This year, you know, something interesting, there are 1,000 plus, to be precise, 10, 12 audience actually joined the conference and big round of applause for all the people, <laughs> participants, delegates, sponsors, everyone from no, no, here. No, 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 it's not true, not true. We have only 900 out <laughs> there. Oh. Tomorrow, really? 100 more joining. All right. So I think, you know, so, so this time we also, like, you know, allowed people to register for third day. It's all thousand. Well, thank you, Babu. Yeah. And out of these three days of conference, see, last year we were we did two years, two days, and we thought, you know, let's bump it up to three days so that, you know, we can deliver meaningful content. And there is, and topic AI is very, very important, and we need, we want to upskill all of you. That was the reason we made it three days. And thank you, 80 plus speakers coming all over the, from different, different parts of the world and like, you know, teaching their skills and interesting thoughts and basically sharing their case studies and all of the things. And so one question, wanna, uh, how do you like the workshops, guys? Can you raise your hands if you like them? Wow. Woo! It's like a lot of hands. Very good. And what about the talks? Today's talks? Nice, good. So, so let me tell one point yeah, about it. Let go me ahead, add this bubble. You know, we got, we got this time so many presentations. It was very first tough for us to curate all those presentations in terms of the theme, in terms of the content. And we were thinking about like, you know, what content makes sense for all of you and hope you know, the testament of yours is that you know you like it, we are happy for that. And in the whole curation of the conference. We have talks, which are around 53 talks. We have eight workshops, 
five case studies, and we have like 10 plus activities, and there are four panels, four different panels, and, and some more coming up tomorrow. And 13 different countries, the participation from 13 different countries. Thank you, everyone, and we expect more in coming years. And let me tell about the split of 1,000, 1,012 audience. So one interesting thing this time, if you see, obviously, right, 43% designers. You have like, you know, 21% somewhere around uh, senior designers. And the interesting stats here this year, you see this thing, the three part, 15%, 8%, and the 10%. These are design leaders, managers, directors, and interesting part is 10% VP and CDOs. Big round of applause for those busy people, busy leaders coming all the way and sharing all the wisdom with all of you guys. And 13% students, and it's pretty interesting to look at this bubble. Yeah. This is the this year's report. Okay, so the interesting change, you see that, as you said, the leadership is now the percentage of leaders are, you know, I think almost like 20, yeah, it's almost like 30, 33%. Yeah. That's, a, that's very important. So because our growth is, you know, we, today we had this discussion among this lead discussion. So we are always looking for somebody to help us. In fact, we are talking about buddy program. We always look up to someone to understand how did they come to that level and what kind of processes they followed and what kind of decision makings they did. And we also had this, uh, you know, uh, panels. Today we, we just finished that, right, startup. We are still lacking something. As a design community, very few of us are thinking about starting their companies. So I'm hoping that this kind of panel discussions inspire us. And we are also talking about leadership. Leadership panel is, tomorrow we have a leadership panel, right, tomorrow, right? Yes, yeah. that's good. Yeah. So it was well received last year, Ruchi. How was that? Like last year panel discussion was so, so very important. The points they talk about, the discussions. And it's very difficult for us to, you know, bring in this kind of talent to at one place. At one year of education, it's happening in a compact level in three days. And I'm happy that your companies are recognizing this. Most of you are sponsored by your companies. That's a very good sign. The companies are promoting UX now. We are moving from where we started, awareness to where, you know, almost advocacy, as I said in the beginning. That's a good sign for our community. That's a good sign for our family, right? I and mean, when I say family, not our own family. I'm talking about our community, okay? As, as well as to the platform. So as a platform, you know, we are open to your suggestions, feedback, Anybody wants to play a different role here, or you have a nice idea program to conduct, most welcome to be part of this panel. Yep. I'll okay. touch base on only one important thing. I don't know how many of you noticed Sham's slide, the third kind. He put an arrow like this for the third kind. Did you understand what it is? <laughs> Whereas, like, you know, first kind is like this, second kind is a little bit, the third that? kind is like this, <laughs> 90 degree. Anyone noticed it? What that means is, especially, we are in the era of third kind, which is artificial intelligence and design, correct? The growth of artificial intelligence now, we're going to see, it's going to be substantial leapfrogging in terms of it's going to run like crazy. Every company is figuring out what does generative AI means, what is their AI story, and for us, from a design point of view, what does AI mean to UX? And how can we create those experiences which are never possible in the past? And these web series, what Anita was telling about, this curation, you should be able to understand by looking at all those talks. You should be able to figure out your story. What is your story? You figure out that. You want to add something? Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I just wanted to add something differently now. I just want to <laughs> ask you guys, how many of you are 10 plus from your company? 10 plus people are attending. Can you please raise your hand? 10 plus people. Okay. Uh, which, which organization from? You are from? 
Avantika, give them a big hand. And the second one, who is the other one? No, no, if it is 20, then I'm going to ask you next question. 10, or oh, okay, 10 below, 10 and below. Okay? Almost 10, maybe 10, yeah. How many people? Seven, okay, give them a big hand. Anybody 10 crossed? 20? Oh my God, which company? Accenture, wow, how many of you? One, how many? One six, okay, 16, give them a big hand. Anybody else? Horizon, how many? 18, wow, wow. <laughs> okay, anybody exceeded 18? Yeah? Publicis Sapien, how many? I can't hear you. 3 0, man. Three zero. Deserved. <laughs> Publicis Sapien, 3 0. Anybody cross 30? That's a great number. You said something, Pramod? 18, wow. Give them. So this is a significant change. You know, we are, as leaders, we're able to influence our companies to understand the value of design. Right? You guys agree with that? Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for making this happen. And let's enjoy the rest of the conference. Okay, thank you. Thank you.